Hi there. This is going to be a video about the fact that we are all one and the game that systematically is always being played against us. And they did it just now because um, people were waking up to the COVID situation, you know, about what was going on. They were just, that there wasn't a, a, an illness, they were just putting COVID and every, on people that were dying of what they norm, people normally die of, ill people, and saying it's COVID-19. You know, if you have a motorbike accident, it's COVID-19. If you die of lung cancer, it's COVID-19. Doesn't matter what it is, it's COVID-19. But what they did is the last resort, and it was all planned because before the killing of, um, of Mr. Floyd, um, the police were caught on camera dropping off um, like a truck of bricks for the protesters, I think it was America, for them to use. So it was all planned, you see. And the reason the system planned it is because that was, that was the last resort. Thought, right, how can we shift the people's attention from COVID? We've got to create the same old thing they've always created, which is um, divide and rule. You see, your body... See, people... What people do is they... They think their body is who they are. And I probably would have thought that before. Um, but I had an unexpected spiritual awakening just under 10 years ago. And... I learned many things that, so many things, but I learned one of the things is that your your life is an experience, right? That's all it is. It's just an experience, right? Don't take it so seriously. It's just, and your body is just a vehicle to experience this life. You know, you have to have a body to experience life. But it's not who you are, right? This is where the confusion comes in. People confuse their experience with who they really are. And in that spiritual awakening, you're, you're aligning with the true self, which is infinite love. Just an infinity of love. And what the system is always trying to do is, because it's terrified of us waking up spiritually, it's always trying to play a game of divide and rule, right? And that's the thing, we are all one. And our differences, you know, are needed. You know, differences, you know, should be there to be explored. You know, explore uniqueness and differences. But this idea of better or worse is illusory nonsense. You know, it's it's just that we have different experiences, different lives, and every person and animal and creature has different qualities. In fact, we are all one. Right? We are all oneness. And, you know, I done a video like this, I think, last week, and I just felt another video was needed. Because that's it, we're all one. You know, it's, it's just, it, but that's, it's like that, you know, your body is just a vehicle. That's it, it's a vehicle to, to um, experience this life. And this is where people get it wrong, like I say. You know, we are not, we are not our, our, our bodies, we're not our names, we're not um, any of the, the titles and labels that we get given. You know, and that's where the problem comes in. The problem com comes in when we def define, we let others define us by the, by the labeling. You know, you got to remember that every label is made up by somebody. 
and the system is always trying to impose its will. And how it does that is it does it by telling it the sheeple what they are, and then the sheeple will attack you if you don't comply, if you're not buying into their belief system. This is how the system at the top, the pyramid, controls the ones um, lower down. And the one with the third eye that's open, um, you know, is aware of what's going on. But like I say, you're not your experiences, you're not your names, you're not your all these labels that we get given. Um, you know, what we all are is just pure infinite consciousness infinite awareness infinite love and we're all one we're all connected you see and so that's why it's not just <clears throat> race and it's race sorry it's race in general that I find absolute nonsense. Once you wake up spiritually, you, you start realizing that. It's just a body. Not who you are. Right? And, but this, this like I say, it's not just the bodies that's used to divide us. It can be religion, it can be skin color. That's what they're doing. Life, the way they can, the system controls society is like a game of football. Soccer, if you're American. And, you know, there are two teams playing against each other. But that's, that's what the system's doing. It's always putting us against each other. And tricking the, the sheeple into thinking that they are divided and separate. When we are all one. But the, the separation that is apparent or the, you know, is for unique experiences. And that should be embraced, like I say. But the system tries to give us the perception that that is a bad thing. And then once it's programmed us to be, to be like that, they then tell us that we're doing it when we've been programmed to do it because you wouldn't do something unless you're programmed to do it right everything comes from the top but what we've got to do is we've got to change reality and take it from the bottom up right that means go within not protesting, rioting or whatever, just go and within, change your energy field and then that changes your space you're occupying. And then that space interacts with the next space and the next space interacts with the next space and so on. And because you really change the planet by changing the energy of the planet. Nothing changes unless you change the energy. But that's it, you see, and, and so many people get caught because they've been programmed to get caught in the, the illusions. Um, like when I had this unexpected spiritual awakening, I started to realize that if you take away all the programming that told me who I was, I wouldn't think I'm that person. There's no Sean then. You see? What happens is, they, like I was saying earlier, they label us and we repeat it back. The same happens in um, like the education system. You repeat back and you get a degree or a prize. And in awakening, you, be you become aware of this. You, you weren't aware of it before. And you can awaken right now simply by paying attention to, the, to it. But yeah, like I say, your body or life in general is not who you are. It's an experience and sometimes a short-lived experience. Just an experience. And the differences you have should be explored as the unique 
you know, as the unique person that you, you seem to be in this life, but like I say, it's just an experience. And then you realize that, you, that everything has to come from nothing, meaning that you are the one infinity and everything is part of that same inf infinity, infinite consciousness, infinite awareness. And that your experience isn't who you are. And then what you're doing is you're tapping into the, the infinite self, which is your divinity. And if everyone did this and looked at everything as oneness, there would never be any division. The system wouldn't be able to play its game. You see, if, if you looked at everything as a mirror of you, then there wouldn't be mass control as there is. You see, divide and rule is really the only game left that the system can play. And, and all we've got to do to defeat it is to allow love to take over, to let our hearts um, do the thinking for us. Because the heart space, the heart center works by um, the right electromagnetic fields, the right electromagnetic fields in all life in general is electromagnetic, but it's a love electromagnetic. And that's what God is. That's what people mean when they say God is within you. It's within your heart center. This is also in science, it's called the Heart Math Institute in America. And they talk about this as well. And you do that, you start living from that, and you start to see that everything is actually you. And that your experience, like I say, you start realize, perceiving how it's not who you are. It's an experience. It's like playing a computer game, it's, it's not who you are, you know? That's what it's, exactly that, you know, it's a simulation of an experience. But as you look, and then when you're living from your heart space, as you're looking around you, you realize that you're a oneness with everything. And then you're, you, you become deeper, you become very meditative. And like I say, if everyone looked at everyone this way, like, a white person's oneness with black people or whatever, then the system couldn't play this game of division. And also with religion, understand religion's the same. Religion is just mirrors of the same thing. <laughs> you know, that's what they are. Getting you to buy into some book that was created by somebody. Again, that's another thing of divide and rule. Same with countries. Same as armies. What are armies? Armies are, be, are, are gangs, viol, violent um, th gangs that are used not to protect your country, but, but to protect your psychopathic leaders. They couldn't give a sh give a, you know, they don't care about life. They don't care about you. Understand that governments don't care. Politicians just care about themselves, about them being remembered. They like control and power. They don't care about you. And that's why we've got to awaken ourselves and become oneness with each other. And it's love that we must go by. And that's the real thing that will change the planet. Not these idiot politicians. And then the love and the oneness will change the planet to a better world of harmony and love and togetherness that's what we need but to do that you've got you've got to realize that these people you're voting for you know it's a it's a it's a it's it's like an a, an abusive relationship governments and politicians you change your world by going within and and then you'll see how all is just mirrors of the same oneness I'm just going to end it there if you want to check my latest updates please do visit my website at www.lovelightfamily.com thank you for watching